Okay, so today I have my helper with me. What's your name? River Dean. River Dean. He's going to help me make quiche today. We're going to make venison quiche with a twist. We're going to put it on a gas grill and we're going to smoke it to give it a nice savory flavor. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. So we'll run through our ingredients. Uh, you're gonna need pie crusts. I bought these frozen. You're gonna need uh, a meat. This is venison sausage. You're gonna need cheese. In this case, we're using Gouda. And that. And this, Rotel. And this. And then this, green onions. What else? Yeah. This, eggs. We're gonna use about eight of them. What else? One more thing left. And that, garlic. Use about two cloves of chopped garlic. All right, let's get started. Yeah. All right, step one, we're gonna brown the venison sausage. Okay, so the next part, this is a fun part. We get to break open some eggs and we're gonna mix. You hold on to that egg and you hand it to me, okay? There's one. Let me do it. There's two. I'll do the next one. You do the next one, bump it on the side. Real easy on the side right here. All right, see how it cracked? Now we take it and do that. Now we, we put the shell over there. Give me another one. Now mine. Whoop, that, one's, that one's already busted. Let's set the one over It's already busted. Give me that. Okay. Okay, that's good. I got it. Oh, it's battle pillet. Okay, give me another one. Here you go. Want to bump it on the side? Yeah. Whoop. Too much. <laughs> That's all right. Hang on. Grab another one. Get that last egg right there. Now then. Let's bump it on the side. There we go. Okay. Now, this yeah. fun part. Come here. I want to grab that other egg. All right. Grab your whisk right there. See that whisk? Get that. Stir that up. While you're doing that, I'm gonna get some heavy whipping cream. Stir it real easy. Don't 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 slush the out. Stir it real easy. Hey, look. Hey, look. I smashed that. One. Yep, smash those eggs up. I need to smash them though. Yeah, smash them up. I smashed them up. Mm -hmm. Look, see. Yep, keep no. smashing them up. Am I done? Nope, put it in there. Alright, keep smashing them up. We're going to add about half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Yeah. Keep smashing them. Keep smashing it up. 
Keep smashing it up. You're doing great. Doing great. Let me help you. Let's take this and whisk it up. Let me help you. Here, let me hold this. And now some of these. Hang on. Not yet. I'm sick. You're not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. We want to whisk this up. Yep. Keep whisking. Keep whisking. Not yet. I think you not that egg. But not that egg. Not Please. that yet either. But now it's not that Stand up. Okay. I'm so we have our. We I'm have our. I'm gonna mix it. You gonna mix it? Okay. Real easy. Real easy. So but, we got it. Got it mixed up. Want it to look like that, like a nice light yellow color. Okay? Okay. Now, let's add some of our stuff. Yeah. Okay, why don't you hand me that garlic? Here, just give me the plate. Let's get the whole plate. Hey, right, this whole plate. Ah! Yeah, that whole plate. Hey. Right. There you go. Alright, so this is about two cloves of garlic. We're gonna take that. This. Yeah. We're gonna add that. And this is about half of a bell pepper. We're gonna add that. Okay. And add this now. And this is about let's do about a half a can of rotel. And yeah, we'll do about half a can. And okay. now this. No, we're gonna save that. You now that. we're gonna do green yes. onions. We'll do Yep. I'm gonna do just a little ah, bit of green onions. I dropped it. I dropped it. I said, I it. Okay, so take that stuff and stir it all in. Let's be real easy. Let, let Pop Up help you. Alright, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna stir it all in. Look yeah. at there. Look at all that. Look. I see. Okay, so now we have it all in the mixture. Now, hold that. Let's add some salt and pepper. I got it. Look. Yep. Stick it in there. Stick it in there. So we're gonna add. We're gonna add some salt. Now mix it. And we'll add some pepper. Now mix. Mix it up. Be real easy so you don't slosh it out of the bowl, okay? Real easy. I'm doing it. Alright, we'll There's a out couple. There's a couple more. I know. Save those. We're going to use that. Okay. Now our talking can Now then, we're going to clean up a little bit. We'll yeah. Be, we'll be back to show you how to Put it in a pie plate. Cut a grill on, let it get warmed up. We uh, we added some smoking chips back there to our little rack. I don't want to do a whole lot of smoke, just a, just a little something to add some flavor. Let me get this fired up. Alright, so we're gonna let this let this warm up. I'm only gonna cut I'm only gonna leave it on about a quarter. And just let things kind of get warm because it'll take us a minute to get a, get everything prepared. You want to get this to about 350, 350 degrees. Alright, so we have our venison sausage that we've cooked and drained. Now we're going to take it and we're just going to fill the bottom of the, the two. We? I have two pie crusts yep. and pie plates, so we're just going to put I, some in there. Can I taste? No, that's good. Let's put it in a, let's put guess, it in a pie crust. Guess what? Can I taste some? Can I taste some? Sure. I remember I ate that other day. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's put some in this pie crust. Yeah. 
Alright, so now stand up. I remember Kayla was here and when you would come a sprinkle. Okay, so we got our venison sausage in the two pie crusts. Now for and the I next step. The next step hey, we're gonna take our Guess what? what? That tastes good. I know it tastes good. It's really good, huh? Now we're going to take our. Can I take some more? Yeah. Now we're going to take. Yeah. And add some cheese. Mm -hmm. For this, we got gouda. Yeah. Shredded gouda. Alright, so let's just take some. And we'll just sprinkle it in on top of the meat, like so. Sprinkle it in like so. We don't want to use the whole pack. We want to save some to put on top too. Let's we'll just take a spread that out. Feel. All right, now for the next part. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to take our mixture, our egg mixture, and we're going to spoon some in here like so. Again. Stand up. Again. 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 Okay. So we have our ingredients. Enough yeah. to fill two pie crusts. Yeah. So what we're going to do now, we're going to transfer these to the grill. And we're going to cook them for about 45 to 50 minutes on 375 degrees. Yeah, and I need to put my shoes on out there and put my jacket on. Yeah, because it's cold, right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. All right, so we got our quiche on the grill. Now, we're gonna get everything placed. And I'm gonna cut. I'm going to cut that side off. I'm going to cut these two. I'm going to cut the farthest one on the right to medium. I'm going to cut that one on the corner and I'm going to cut that one off. The keys to get it to 370, 350, 375 and leave it. I'll let that go and see. Alright, we've been going about 30 minutes here. Let's peek in and take a look. Oh yeah. Got the smoke going real good. That's cooking up nice. I'm gonna let that go for another 20 minutes or so. Yeah, I know it. Okay, is. so it's been on here about 50, 55 minutes. And it looks like it is done. So we're gonna go ahead and get our stuff together and pull it off and then we'll go in and plate it. I'm cooling yep. that to me too. Okay, finished product. Yeah, finished. Looks really nice. It smells delicious. Yeah. So let's take a little bit of gouda cheese. Yeah. Little bit good up. A little bit of gouda cheese and sprinkle on top. No, no, no. Not that yet. Not that yet. Let's do the cheese and then we'll do this. Exactly. And don't give me my drink. Please do I drink. So we'll take some gouda. Spread on top for garnish. Now we'll just garnish with some of the green onions that we have. Yeah. Done. I'm going to put it on. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All done. Yeah, all done. You ready to eat it? Yep. You ready to try some? Yeah. What do you want to tell the folks on YouTube? Um, good. Good stuff.
it take you to cook it? It was four. Four what? Like four. Like four forty pounds. Like forty pounds? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean feast and snack hips. Uh-huh. Like a thousand three second hips. A thousand three seconds. Like like this all time. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let me take a record to me. Holy crap. I do say holy crap. Because it's good.